Hi, I'm Fiona Guy and today I'd like to talk to you about Oracle Policy Automation's integration with BI Publisher, which was introduced in version 10.3. Why am I telling you? Well, OPM was always really good at handling complex decisions and decision making. Um, BI Publisher allows the capability to create decision letters, interview summaries, claim forms, whatever your imagination can come up with at the end of an in interview. So today I'll give you a demonstration of the basic functionality and then show you what else is possible and point you at places you can get more information. So for today's demonstration I've just got a basic rule base. I've got some rules about eligibility and I've created some public names for my attributes. In this case I've only got six attributes in my rule base. I've got a screens file with a link to my goal attribute and a single question screen that collects my base level data. Now I've created this screens file in 10.3, so there's a docgen folder there waiting for my generated documents. If I was upgrading from a previous version, I need to just create a doc get folder to contain these documents. So to create a document at the end of my interview, I right click on this folder and select new document. I give it a name such as assessment summary document. I click on the document type, so I'm going to choose PDF, but you could also use Excel, HTML or RTF and I click export schema. This exports data about every attribute with a public name in my rule base. So you can save it wherever you like and then click edit to edit your document template. That will open the template in Microsoft Word. I've installed BI Publisher so there's a BI Publisher ribbon there with links to pretty much everything I need. Uh, if I click on XML schema that will load the schema that I just saved. Now being Microsoft Word, I have access to all of the styles and formatting I'd, I'd like to use to generate documents. So, you know, you can control colours and, and styles, put in whatever images you like. So, in this case I'm just going to put a neat little heading, just format in heading style. Okay. Now back on that BI Publisher toolbar. I've loaded my schema, but so BI Publisher is aware of all the attributes in my rule base with public names. Click on the field button and I've got a list of those attributes sorted by public name. I can also search. Next to each attribute it's got value or text. By default I can simply drag and drop an attribute value or the attribute text into my document. So for example the person's age, if I drag and drop in value, I'll say the person's age, 25 and so forth. If I click in drag and drop age text, that will put in the text to the attribute, the person's age. So it will say the person's age is 25. Okay, I'll just show you what that looks like. So close out of here, save my work, back in Oracle Policy Modeling, I click OK. Now I need to add a link on my summary screen to access that document. So I open up my assessment summary, click New Document, select that document I've just created from the drop down list, and add a caption. You can of course also add visibility attributes to make that document only appear at the end of the interview or if a person is eligible, for example. Build and debug with screens in Oracle Policy um, Web Determinations. Enter some basic information about the person. Now generate my document. You can see those fields that I drag and dropped appearing in the document. Okay, Those are fairly basic examples, obviously it looks a bit rough. If I want to do something a bit more advanced, um, there's options in the Beer Publisher toolbar to allow conditional text, so you might just want to display a piece of text if an attribute is or isn't true, or is over a certain value for example. Um, you might want to put in a table or a chart or entity level attributes and something like that. All of that is possible and explained in the OPM help. If you want to do really advanced functionality, you just drag and drop in any field, double click on it, click on the advanced tab and you can edit the code directly in here. And there's some examples in the OPM help of text you can put in here to achieve different results. Okay, so again as I said that looks pretty basic, I'll show you one that looks a little bit more exciting. Supplied with 10.3 are a couple of sample rule bases, we've got the healthy eating rule base and the social services screening, screening rule base. The Healthy Eating Rule Base has a neat example of a decision letter and an assessment summary with graphics. So I'm just going to load some sample data, but you can run it from your own machine and enter information. 
about people to see what effects it has. Um, summary document here has some neat graphics. It's summarised entity level information into neat colourful graphs. It's got um, a list of entity level attributes. It's got some uh, conditional display of graphics in tabular form as well as just a straight form. Okay, the decision letter is similar. So if you just open the decision letter, you can see it's got some base level attributes. It's got some inferred attribute values, and it has a decision report. Now for both of these sample rule bases, we've provided the raw templates um, as well as the whole rule base so you can see uh, the entire package and, and adapt the examples to your own circumstances. So just to go over that again with the entities, to use an entity you click on the repeating group button. There's information on this in the OPM help. Uh, one of the really powerful things about PI Publishers is you can sort your entity information based on attribute values. So you can for example, sort by child name, put them in alphabetical order, um, and so forth. You can add graphs and charts by clicking on the buttons on the BI Publisher toolbar. You can add decision reports, there's examples for this in the OPM help um, images. Um, and you can preview your document from within Word. I didn't show you how to do this today, but there is there are explanations there in the OPM help. Sample rule bases are installed to this location by default, so you can copy and use those examples as you like. For more information, look at the step-by-step -step guides in the OPM Help, post your comments and questions to the OPA Community Forum, or call Oracle for further assistance. Thanks for listening.